Vanderfield, it's gone. Oh, she got it! Oh. Looking for a shot, gonna take it, and Nelson can hang on to it, and there's a goal. Good evening, everyone, and welcome in for Bear River Lady Bears soccer. Tonight they host the Green Canyon Wolves, who currently sit in the number two spot in region, along with everybody else, tied at one and one for a region record. Overall record, seven and one. The loss coming last week against the Mountain Crest Mustangs, a two to one loss there for the Wolves. Caitlin Jensen scored the lonely goal for the Wolves in that loss. That totals her up for four goals on the season, but leading the way for Green Canyon is senior Austin Miller with five goals. Kelly Hastings leads with four assists. Kurt Sadler in his second year as head coach, trying to get his team ready for another deep run in the playoffs after getting eliminated by Mountain Crest in the semis last year. Let's get you caught up on the Lady Bears. After going four and one in the preseason play, they come out stumbling to start off in a region. A 3-0 loss against Skyview for the region opener, then last Friday a loss 5-1 to Logan. The freshman Emery Crowther still leads the team in goals with four. His new head coach Jessica Waite tries to get her squad to be competitive in a very hard region. The RPI will be out Thursday, so it'll be interesting to see how everyone lines up now in the newly realigned 4A classification. So you got you got everybody but Mountain Crest and Bear River at one and one. Mountain Crest leading the way in first place. Again, there's only two games deep in the region. Bear River sitting at the bottom 0 and 2, but they want to change that here tonight. And again, the RPI comes out Thursday, and I think you're gonna find Lady Bears. My prediction is they're gonna be in the middle of the pack. You bring a lot of schools in there that you really don't hear about their soccer program, like uh, like Jordan and uh, uh, Tim View and, and other schools like that. I mean, Stansbury, you know, they're going to be at the top. Mountain Crest going to be at the top. And the Wolves, you know, they're a tough team. We'll see them here in about two and a half minutes. Again, we'd like to thank you for your support by watching. And the support of our many sponsors. Speaking of our sponsors, we'd like to thank Dr. Todd Miller. Look at the uh, Miller Medical Report here. Here for the Lady Bears, only one. Chloe Woodward saw a slight knee injury. They're thinking it's a bone bruise. Just going to take it easy. But should be nothing too bad. And again, that's brought to you by Dr. Todd Miller. Give him a call at 915-6262. Keys to the game here for Coach Way. It says play aggressive and play on your toes. They need to play for the whole eight minutes. In the past games, second half has kind of given fits. So playing the full 80 minutes is the goal here for tonight. We're about to step aside here for the Liberty West Liberty Liberty moment. Again, they're the leading Copac meat label manufacturer. And they're also hiring all three shifts. They'll be a part of their team. There, and we'll step aside for this. Again, thank you to West Liberty Foods for your Liberty moment.
Well, there's your starters here for today's game. Again, Lady Bears defending the home turf brought to you by Chenshare Sod Farms. You can go get your lawn looking as good as the turf here at Burrover High School. Or you can just get watering tips to keep your lawn green throughout the year. Falls upon us. Good time to get sod, actually. Lay it down. Let it go dormant. Nice and green for springtime. And I'd like to mention 9 is coming up and 9-11 National Day of Service right there. Northern Box Elder County, there's like a few things we can do. There's your dates right there, Garland City Park, Hanson Park, you get the food drive and the food pantry on the 11th and 12th. North Park Elementary will be on the 13th. Go donate. And you can also go check out justserve.org for more information on that. We'll keep reminding you of the 9-11 National Day of Service. Again, we'd like to thank West Liberty Foods. Again, hiring. You give them a call at 723-7226 at West Liberty Foods. You know, we'll have an estimated clock. We'll just go tell the whistle. Lady Bears in their black jerseys. Green Canyon. With white and the green numbers. And we will be underway. This is game three in region play. Lady Bears looking for their first win here in region. Okay, I'm going to work it here on the near side. Kick over to the middle and collected there by Gracie Meads. Kerrigan tries to send it back over here to the middle. It's picked off here by Green Canyon. He passes working it into the middle before they send it to the far side. Another drop back. Bears trying to take advantage of that. Get sent back the other way. There's Wilkinson trying to make something happen. Drop back over to Chloe Kamek. Escavel sends it far side. Needs now. Go over to the far side. Now kicked ahead. Trying to go into the middle there with Crowder, but Green Canyon. Playing catch out here with the keeper. Kicked out of bounds. It'll be Lady Bears throwing deep in Green Canyon territory. Let's see if they can take advantage of this field position. Allie Kerrigan doesn't like that ball, so we'll switch it out. Natalie to throw in. Green 
Kenny gonna poke it away from Bear River. Got Chloe with it. Kamek with the drop back over to Meads. Olivia now drops back even further here to Mickelson. Give it back over to Meads. Went over to Pond. Brooklyn with the big leg kicks it over to the far side. Butler here in the middle. Trying to work it to midfield. Cross it back over to Gracie. They get sent back the other way here by Green Canyon. Can you gonna go wide? On a steal by Butler. Set back out to Hadley. Unable to get in front of that one. Sets up the first goal kick of the ball game. Can you're gonna work it out of the back on the far side. And a high kick there to the delay call, almost catching Gracie in the face with that foot. Maybe Bears will have the position on the far side. Free kick sent in the middle on a one hop. Catch over the keeper for Green Canyon. Let's try to clear out before she gives it a kick to midfield. Escavel will drop back here to the middle with Meads. Olivia pushes it over here to Wilkinson. Last touch by Green Canyon. We'll have a throw in here for Bear Rivers. Shelby goes and shags this one out. Game break. Great Basin Industrials looking to hire welders, fitters, fabricators, also painters. They're in their Plymouth facility. Go fill out an application at mygbi.com. Canyon now. We're going to back here from the far side. Mickelson with a good defense. Green Canyon retreats back to midfield. Send us still back over to the far side. In the pass trying to get it over to Austin Miller. It'll be a throw in here for Green Canyon far side. Winder to throw in, back over to Miller, now back over to Winder. Now into the middle, now kick back out here from Kamek. Still collected up here by Green Canyon. Miller on the far side. And into the middle, that might have been Miller, excuse me, Austin Miller in the middle, but a stop by Brooklyn Pond. First stop of the night for her. Canyon kind of quickly back at it before the Lady Bears can break that up. Butler sends it out here to Kerrigan. Sends it to midfield. Here for Crowther. She'll drop back. Out of the middle, there's a shot for Green Canyon. Another stop here by Brooklyn Pond. Winner with that shot. Kick will be gathered up here by Green Canyon and another late call there on number four. Guess Lima will get the penalty, giving it back to Bear River. Free kick coming here from Olivia Meads. 
into the middle. Brought back here by Green Canyon. Winder from the middle. Trying to get a runner. Leads are too far. It'll go out of bounds. And a goal kick here for Brooklyn Pond. Like to think New Court. They're also hiring. 85 a year or 85,000 a year. We're at New Core. Plenty of other facilities over in Brigham with Volcraft as well. You could thank them for being a supporter of Bearber Athletics and Bearber Live. Another quick throw in. Carrying with a quick one right in front of the Lady Bears bench, trying to stay with it. Green Canyon sends it back. We'll drop back here to the corner. Miller leaves it up. She'll get it back though here in the middle. Over to Winder. Kicks it far side. And out on the same page with that pass. They'll go out. Throw one coming far side here for the Lady Bears. JC's Diner is under new management, but same great taste. Country Charm, savor the flavor there at JC's Diner. Again, great supporters of Bearber Athletics. Lady Bears will just work it down the far side of the field here on throw ins. We'll have another one coming after we shag it out on the far side. 31 minutes, 20 seconds. Up to go here in the first half. Still scoreless. The throw in far side here for Bear River. Chrissy Meese tries to collect. Winder tries to get into some space. The Lady Bears defense denies her of that. It'll be a throw in coming far side here for Green Canyon, and that's number 24. Have a heap chasing it down. And for the throw in. Heap throw in goes over to Kamek. Miller able to steal it away. Winder trying to push the issue here for Green Canyon. Another good defensive breakup here for the Lady Bears. Give and go was not there. Green Canyon drops it back anyways. Dropping it all the way back now to the keeper. So that's not the slip. Switch sides of the field. Keep it here on the near side. A couple quick passes down the sideline. And Meads with a steal. Sets up the first corner kick here for Green Canyon. First one of the ball game, actually. We'd like to thank Academy Mortgage. Still might make sense to or might make sense to refinance. And Trudy Hatch and her team can help you out with that. Make the process simple and easy. And from the pole comes a corner kick. And a punch out here by Brooklyn Bond. Instead of going along this time, they're gonna go short. Come back to the action. Flexed it away, and it'll be last touch by Bear River, so we'll set up another corner kick here for Green Canyon. Three in a row. And on the wrong side of the net for that one, sets up a goal kick here for Brooklyn Pond. I like to think Rudd Funeral Home. Joe and his family, he'll be your family in your time of need. Or if you know the time's coming, a little planning never hurts. And collected, trying to find some space and crosses the face of the goal out of bounds. Shot attempt by number nine, Haley Hastings. She's already got two goals, four assists on the year. This sets up a goal kick here for Brooklyn Pond. Sends it over Michelson on the far side. Greasy Meads coming all the way back from the forward position. And this 
Going out of bounds, throw in here for Green Canyon at the 28 minute mark here in the first half. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Join your support by watching. The header brings another throw in coming here for Green Canyon. Both teams coming to this one off a loss. Green Canyon off the loss to Mountain Crest and Lady Bears off the loss to Logan last Friday. This Crowther still on the way. Looking for some space. Drops it over to Olivia Meads. Meade circles around, gives it back over to Butler. Now we go far side here to Mickelson, but trying to send it back. Doesn't come off her foot quite right. I believe this is Miller, but deflected shot sets up a corner kick here for Green Canyon, this time on the far side. Like to thank Cover Up if you are in need of any screen printing or embroidery design. They got two locations to get your order done fast. If you got a team, bowling league, little league, whatever. They can help you out there at Cover Up, both on Main Street and Tremont and Brigham City. And a corner kick from the corner gets deflected away here by. Escavel. Pond able to deflect and snag this one up. I'd like to thank KSLSports.com. You'll be watching this on KSLSports.com or the app, wherever your apps are found, making it that much easier to follow your Lady Bears whenever we go live. Can you get a circle it back around to the far side? Deflect it out. Here by the Lady Bears. Throwing coming here for the Lady Wolves. Looking financial with them a lot during the auction at the county fair this last weekend. If you're looking to Invest or retire, you gotta have a plan, and the plan should start with talking with Hootie Roach at Lincoln Financial. Through the ball goes out of bounds, so we're throwing coming here for Green Canyon back at around midfield. Or a free ball. Free kick. They didn't let them just have the advance. But Lady Bears still with the possession. Here's a kick ahead. Headed back. Meads drops it back. Pawn comes out. Gives it another big kick across midfield. Gathered up here by Green Canyon. Sends it back over to the far side. Miller. The one touch back, she'll get it. But Olivia Meads with a steal. Another drop back here from Green Canyon. Trying to reset again, far side. Collected a midfield by Ma. Out of the middle. Got look at the steal here by Butler. Sydney drops back over to Olivia. Comes back over to the middle. Ma will drop it back here to the keeper. It's off sides of the field now to the far side. Again, trying to work it back. Winter crossing midfield. There's a pass over to Miller. Austin going to run into the Lady Bears defense. This kick off the top bar. Rebound. Gathered up here on the near side. By the end line. Miller couldn't get a foot on it. Cleared out by the Lady Bears. 
Maw trying to keep it alive here for Green Canyon and a little bit of a space. Wilkinson closes up on the defense. There's a good stop by Pond. Cat-like reflexes from Brooklyn Pond. Keeps this ball game scoreless and now a off to the races, but Green Canyon is just going to poke this one out of bounds. Let's take another look at the block here by Pond. Quick shot from the middle from Miller, able to stop it. Go back into play here to the middle, and Gracie Mead wants that one back. Didn't quite get the leg she wanted on that one. And Miller showing off some speed, trying to get a step, sent back in, and she's going to find the corner of the net and then score one here for Green Canyon. It's Boston Miller, leading scorer for Green Canyon at six goals to the season here. Lady Bear's got to come from behind now, down 1-0 here, trying to defend the home turf. Again, brought to you by Chanchair Sod Farms. Butler, send it over here to Wilkinson on the near side. Little tap, goes out of bounds. Wilkinson will have the throw in. Give it over to Chloe Kamek. Butler pushes it ahead, but not going to be able to catch up to that pass. That was number seven, Adeline Kamek. So Ma with a throw in. Chloe Kamek collects. Can't go back to the middle of the field, broken up here by Green Canyon. And out of nowhere comes Butler. Olivia collects Meads, out of Kamek, Adeline's pass, rejected back. Green Canyon to the middle, now to the outside, Miller again, but not going to be fast enough to get it around the defender that time. Passes it over to the far side and a whistle for offsides. Brooklyn Pond will have the goal kick. 20 and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. Now with Green Canyon leading by one goal. Pawn's kick just gets right back over to her. Pawn's kick collected here by Adeline. Green Canyon come. Turn it back around. Winder with a pass ahead, and that's going to go too far ahead. And the throw will come here for the Lady Bears far side. Looking to buy or sell, give Gary Masson a call. Coldwell Banker to your realtor. Him or either one of his team of dedicated realtors to make that process easy as well. Sun peeking out from the clouds on the far side of throw in. For the Lady Bears collected midfield here by Green Canyon. And a late whistle again on trip. It'll go Green Canyon's possession. Kent's market also looking to hire one-stop shop for fresh produce, a bakery, deli, pharmacy, Kent's Optics, all under one roof. And don't forget about Fritter Fridays. And an offsides call from the far judge. And Green Canyon give the possession back here to Lady Bears. Free kick over on the far side. And 
Miller here in the middle for Green Canyon. Trying to work it against the defense. Deflected away here by Meads. Kamek trying to push it over to Butler. Then he gets it poked away from her. Kamek able to keep the control with the pass ahead. It's knocked around. Clearing it into the back for Green Canyon. Gracie to the middle here to Chloe Kamek. Chloe back over to the back, push back ahead. Linder to the far side. A little back and forth before they get it back over here to the middle of the field. And this one up and over everybody's heads. A throwing coming on the near side here for the Lady Bears. Like to thank the grill. Your play of the game sponsor. Also a great place to eat for dining or takeout. Chloe with the drop back. Will be with a little bit of trouble with it. Able to regain. Poked away. Last touch by Green Canyon. Goal kick coming here for Brooklyn Pond. Pond keeps it short. Another cross here from Meads. Over to the far side and this pass out of bounds. The last touched by Green Canyon. Kelly Anderson to throw in far side. And she'll have another one. This is one knocked out by I the Wolves. Jenny up by one. 16 minutes left to go here in the first half. I'd like to thank Tom and his team. Our Greer's do best hardware serving the community since 1976. Kick down the sideline. Collected and right over to Pond. Sends it ahead here for Green Canyon. Sent back here by Meads. From the far side, trying to go back the middle. Anderson deflects that pass. Another one. Back over to the far side. Green Canyon here to the middle. Another soft pass going to be taken away here by Bear River. Oh, Wilkinson wants to try a quick throw in, but substitution here for the Lady Bears. Check in number 20, Ali Esquivel. Wilkinson to throw in. This one going up and out of bounds. Change of possession. Throwing coming right in front of the Lady Bears bench here for Green Canyon. Now with the throw in. Bouncing awkwardly off of Miller's foot. Able to save it from um, going out. Hastings trying to force it into the middle. Cleared out. Push out to the far side. Winter in the middle. 
Trying to thread the needle inside this defense in the numbers games. Catches up to him. Wilkinson wants that one back as this one slides off the foot. Out of bounds. Quick throw in here from Ma. Go back and forth. Meads clears it back out again. Madeline Kamek trying to grab it in. Hastings with the steal. It's two on one, trying to split the defense. No call. Another quick throw in here from Ma. Pass in here to the middle. Miller crosses the field, far side, nobody there, and a throw in coming. In the corner here for the Lady Bears. Say hey, there's a lot of things going on at Tanglewood Studio, something for everybody. They got preschool starting up pretty soon. Mommy Me classes, dancing, gymnastics, singing. Bothwell's the place there at Tanglewood Studios. Got the throw one coming at the 12-minute mark here for the Lady Bears far side. We'll have game two this Thursday here for the Lady Bears. Get at home, come out and support if you can. They'll be hosting the Ridgeline Riverhawks. Up the throw on far side. Riley Escobel to throw in. Headed back to her. And Kenyon able to keep it in. Mickelson's got to chase it down. Able to get a turn and a shove that the ref didn't see. This one goes out. Mom wants to quickly throw this one in. Keep the pressure on the Bears. 11 minutes left to go here in the first. Pass deflected away. Here comes the Lady Bears. But Ma controls here at midfield, near side. Got the pass too far. Scooped up here by Brooklyn Pond. Chloe Kamek into the middle. Push here to Miller. Tried to send it to the corner or maybe a pass nobody was there for. Either way, it goes out of bounds and a goal kick coming here for Bear River. Escobel from the back. Doesn't send it up here to Gracie. And Kenya digs over here with Winter. Trying to work it back to the middle. Wilkinson with a steal. Adeline Kamek trying to turn and go. Knock loose here by Windsor. Now to Hastings. Or excuse me, Ma to Hastings. Miller can't get it to turn around. Another goal kick coming here for Brooklyn Pond and Lady Bears. Next up for Green Canyon, they go to Logan on Thursday. Take on the Grizzlies. He says RPI will be released on Thursday, so we'll kind of have a better idea where everybody's sitting. The season almost hits halfway through region play. Mocklex here on the near side. Now with the drop back here to their keeper. Headed back the other way. This is popped up here by Crowther. Excuse me, that's Lexi Wynn in the middle. So it's Crowther. Horman, human torpedo. Here's Ma going to drop it back here to the keeper. Keep an Adeline away from that one. Ma 
gets across midfield, sent back there by Butler. Meets collects on the far side. Gracie with the cross. We have Adeline drops back over to Esquivel. Here's the give to Wilkinson, but a little bit too much on that one. It'll be a throw in coming here for Green Canyon. Great idea. Mago shags it down. 7.40 left to go here in the first. Hastings back over to Ma. Ma trying to get out of the double team. Sadler with the push ahead. Hastings running it down here on the near side. Going to the sunlight. Needs to beat. And there's a shot blocked by Pa. Nobody can clean it up. And the Lady Bears successfully stopped the Green Canyon Wolves again. Back over to the middle. Wilkinson clears it out, though. Ma with a steal here for Green Canyon. Giving it back over to Hastings. Hastings through the middle. A little give and go. But the Lady Bear is able to deflect that one just enough, get it out of bounds, and throw one coming here for Green Canyon. Six, almost six and a half minutes now. I'd like to thank Frank May Skidoo. They get a machine for almost every season. Go get yours there in Honeyville at Frank May Skidoo. Esquivel trying to turn a too many white jerseys around. Chloe Kamek comes in to help. Another draw back here by Hastings. Ma trying to run it down the sideline. Excuse me, this is Hastings coming out of the out of bounds line. Oh, what a stop here by Olivia Meads. A little bit too far. Ma with the throw in in front of the Lady Bears bench. I like to think seeing our trailer sells. Get it ready for the camp or the hunting season. Or camping, it's still camping season. Never seen our trailer sales, or if you need one, they can help you out with that as well. Green Canyon gonna work it here to the middle. Miller drops it out far side. Again with another drop back here for Green Canyon. Reset, try the attack here on the near side. Nicholson clears it out of the far side. Collected though here by Green Canyon. Trying to make a move on the inside. There's a shot and another block here by Pond. Brooklyn doing a great job in the keeper position here for the Lady Bears. Let's the traffic clear a little bit. She kicks this one away. Under four and a half to go here in the first. Throwing coming here for Meads and the Lady Bears. And they say it's Green Canyon throwing. Miller collects. And a steal here by Chloe Kamek. Trying to get it back over to Gracie. It's picked up again here by Green Canyon. On the move now, far side. Chloe Kamek clears it out. Gracie Meads with speed, clanks it up here for Bear River. Trying to go for a little give and go. The numbers again catches up now with the Lady Bears. Kamek with the drop back. 
Olivia Mead sends it ahead across midfield. Ma returns it here for Green Canyon. Hastings with it now here on the near side. Defended by Wilkinson. Little push off. Mead now takes over. And across to the middle, nobody there to clean it up. Trying to look for Winder on the middle. But a goal kick coming. Crowd, they're going to check back in here for the Lady Bears as well as number two, Natalie Allen. On with the kick to Esquivel. Allen back over to Esquivel. There's a kick that's going wide left. Again, shot taken in by Chloe Sadler. Lady Bears running out of time here in the first half to answer back on a 1 0 game and a whistle against Green Canyon. He's in possession with the Lady Bears. Olivia Meads here to the middle. Collected out here by Green Canyon. Though. With a far side. Mon Miller trying to work it up. Mickelson pokes it out of bounds, throwing coming. Here for Green Canyon. Kessley Ma with the throw in. This kick going to go up and over. Set up another goal kick here for the Lady Bears. One minute, 15 seconds. Pond trying to direct traffic. Gives it over to Olivia Meads. Cleared out by Green Canyon. Wilkinson here to throw in on the near side. Wind drops it back over here to Olivia Meads. Sadler back out here to Hastings. Hastings with a drop back and cleared out again by the Lady Bears defense. Eliza Ma to throw in. Headed over to the middle. And Winder trying to score this one at the closing seconds of the first half. But will not make it. It goes up and over, and you're scored halftime. It's Green Canyon 1, the Lady Bears 0. We're going to reset. Thanks some of our sponsors, and we'll be back for the second half here at Bear River High School. Still a tight one. Don't go anywhere. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mom and Me classes. Family rates are available, so come join the fun.
Market has an app, and it's free. Just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market, and it'll come right up. Downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons, weekly deals, and access to your Kent's Kickback account. As you can see, the app is easy to use and can help you save. Download it now and get exploring. We'll see you soon at Kent's. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Dr. Todd Miller has expanded his team of medical professionals. Medical assistants, nurse practitioners, and estheticians at Miller Medical are ready to care for their clients with full services for family medical, pediatrics, beauty, and health. They also specialize in weight loss and hormone therapy. Miller Medical is now offering beauty and spa health treatments, as well as Botox. Most insurances are accepted, but a cash price discount is available. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. The Grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the Grill has something for everyone. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Whether you are buying or selling, you need to know you have someone in your corner who can help you get through that process. The Realtors at Coldwell Banker are there to help you get into your home, whether it's a starter or your forever. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Let Trudy Hatch and Shannon Johnson help you get into the home of your dreams. They're your local experts for all your mortgage needs. Give them a call today. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. Rock and Roll Construction Products, providing new cart concrete and landscaping products. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for family medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies, as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. Need something for your sweet tooth? Then stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick up one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. 
Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. The culture at West Liberty Foods, it really is doing the right thing, even when people aren't watching you. Our principles are set based on a farmer mentality, and that's hardworking, that's community-based, um, and being good stewards of the land. It's, it's being loyal to your team, it's taking care of your team. I think as an organization, that's another thing that makes West Liberty Foods really successful, is that commitment to others. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Reserve a lane at the Bear River Bowling Center today. Cosmic Bowling is on Fridays and Saturdays, Mondays are family nights, and then it's $3 Tuesday. Ask about their birthday packages and order your favorite foods from the grill. Coldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Coldwell Banker. If you are selling, give Gary Matson a call for a free market analysis today. Bear River Live is proud to bring you another production, Talk of the Town. These weekly episodes will bring local stories to life and keep you informed on what is happening in the community, as well as business spotlights and expert tips. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Again, we'd like to thank you for supporting us by watching. I'd like to thank all those many sponsors as well that you just saw. It's a 1-0 ball game starting off the second half. Again, the only goal here for Green Canyon. It's taken by number two leading scorer for the Wolves, Austin Miller. Replay that right here. And Miller showing off some speed, trying to get a step. Sent back in, and she's going to find the corner of the net. Only one to get past Pond, though. There's been a lot more shots on goal for Green Canyon, and Brooklyn doing an awesome job there in the keeper position. As well as the defense here for the Lady Bears. We'll have a fresh 40 on the clock. Again, an estimated clock on your scoreboard. We'll just go until the whistle. Again, next up for the Lady Bears, they'll host Ridgeline on Thursday. Have that one for you. Then we'll finish the week off with football as Carbon Dinos. Head into Bear River High School, I believe for the first time. I don't remember ever having played Carbon here. Again, remember to have your day of service on 9-11, National Day of Service. Go check out justserve.org for food ser or for service opportunities. There's a couple right there here locally. I'll try to catch that one more time. This is throwing coming here for the Lady Bears. Far side here with Wilkinson. Draw back over here to Meads. A 
Hastings from the middle, trying to push it over to Sadler. Kicks it out far side, back over to Winder in the middle. Again cleared out by the Lady Bears defense. Ball here on the near side. Trying to get it in deep. Splitting the defense. Looking for an open shot, but closes quickly by Mickelson. Setting up a goal or a corner kick. Evergreen Canyon, first one of the second half. Headed right back out by the Lady Bears defense. The throw in now for Green Canyon near side. Keep the throw in here for Green Canyon. Her throw in, knocked around by the Lady Bears. Collected here by Chloe Kamek. Ma drops it back. Butler collects, trying to get it into the middle here to Crowther. And there's a whistle here against Green Canyon. That'll give Lady Bears the possession. Deep in Green Canyon territory, we'll take a scene our replay look. Reese Cragen didn't get the call there. She can make sure she gets something there. Mackenzie Mickelson sent up for the free kick here for Bear River. Still trailing 1-0. Here's a pretty shot, but in the arms of the keeper here for Green Canyon. Good follow through there for the Lady Bears. Just right at the keeper. Kamek gets it poked away from her. Butler drops it back here for the Lady Bears. Trying to go to the middle. This is Hastings trying to bring it back here for Green Canyon. Wilkinson clears it out. Over to the far side. Lady Bears trying to push even more here to midfield with Crowther. Crowther hits the turf. No call. And the kick goes out of bounds. Throwing coming here for the Lady Bears at about the bench area of Green Canyon. Wilkinson on the far side. Sadler. Let's go to the far side. Here to Miller. She'll drop back. Here to Ma. Anderson trying to turn it. Get it over to Esquivel. Sadler drops it. Far side to Ma. Ma pushes ahead. Austin Miller trying to turn it around here in midfield for Green Canyon. A one touch pass. Going to be taken away by Wilkinson. Butler now trying to get it into space here for the Lady Bears. Keep the last one to touch it here for Green Canyon. Throw in. Again, Caldwell Banker. Banker, give Gary Madsen a call for a free estimate. There on your home. A couple headers. Last headed down by Bear River. And a legal throw in. Giving it back over to the Lady Bears. Anderson with the throwing. Rather trying to go for a quick pass over to Esquivel, but it gets knocked out.
Clear out nearby Mickelson's rolling coming here for the Green Canyon Wolves. People have a throw in here for Green Canyon. Oh, Haverstick, I mean, is the one throwing that in. We got multiple rosters here for Green Canyon. Just trying to get them. But here's Brooklyn Pond with a goal kick. Keep it short over here to Olivia Meads. She'll send it down the sideline. Crowther catching up with it. And can't keep it inbound though. And a quick throw in here from Ma on the far side. Miller the last one to touch that one. Oh, they say last to touch was Bear River. So Ma again with a throw in midfield, Evergreen Canyon. Sadler works her way into the middle. Does it give it off and that's about it as it rolls out of bounds for a goal kick for Brooklyn Pond. And a push from behind from Sadler. Gives Lady Bears a free kick, far side. Olivia Meads backs off. And Canyon headers it back the other way. But a whistle. Gonna call offsides on Bear River all the way back here. The gobble here with the free kick from Green Canyon. Austin Miller on the end line with a kick. Goes out of bounds. Played over here to Anderson. Not much there to, not much there to play with. Throwing coming here, Green Canyon. Headed out by Esquivel. Swinging out to the far side now, the Green Canyon. Unable to keep control. It'll be a throwing far side here for the Lady Bears. Wilkinson of the throw in here to Pumpling. Miller. Again on the far side, blocked away by Olivia Meads. Setting up a corner kick here for Green Canyon, this time on the far side. I like to think New Court Steel. Another name you heard a lot of at the auction over the weekend. Big time supporters of the fair, big time supporters of your Bear River Bears. Miller with a shot, but Pond with a grab. Worth another look here at the CNR replay. And trying to pull a fast one for Miller. Gets past one defender, sends it inside, and Pond there. Meanwhile, Green Canyon tries to work it back. You're on the far side with it. 
Hastings trying to look for some space. Defense closing in, and a scary situation there for Bear River, but no damage done, still 1-0. Escobar collects. Trying to push it into Crowther. Green Canyon. Bring it back the other way. Sadler. With time, kicks it out here to the far side. A little give and go. Miller with a shot and another block by Olivia Meads. Collected now by Butler. Butler again, gonna get shoved on the back. Free kick coming here for the Lady Bears, Olivia Meads. Get this back going again here on the far side, going over to Gracie. And a fight for it. On the line, a quick throw in here by Gracie. Headed up by Butler. Anderson. Off her leg, out of bounds. Another quick throw in here Green Canyon near side. Drop it back to the keeper here for Green Canyon. Gobble. It's to Ingrid. Gobble again. Trying to spin it around. Drop back here to the keeper. Kind of a softer kick. And in Green Canyon's defense is able to clear it out. Jensen and Mickelson, a race of the ball. Jensen able to turn it back inside. Nobody there, though. Anderson trying to get it back out. Wilkinson, Wilkinson excuse me. The big kick clears it out here on the near side. It's only coming. Here Green Canyon, a quick one into Miller. Reagan will take her shot. The low roller over to Pond. Miller drops over to Sadler. Sadler trying to go inside to Winder. Olivia Meads with another still drops it over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson pushes it ahead. Another poke away. Crowther's going to take it. Pass it down the line. Far side. Kerrigan going to run out of space and let it roll out. Throwing coming here for Green Canyon. Sadler trying to turn it. Wilkinson sends it here to the middle. Gobble clears it back out, Evergreen Canyon. Wilkinson, gonna bring it back. Chloe Kamek gets it across midfield. Tracy Meads trying to Thread the needle with that pass. It's hit back around. Cleared back by the Lady Bears. And a throw one coming far side here for Green Canyon. Substitution on the far side for Green Canyon. Lady Bears elect not, elect not to sub in. Another throw one coming here for the Lady Bears, far side. Hadley with the throw in. Trying to get over to Chloe Kamek, but it's taken away. The defense from Livia Meads has been spot on all game. 
makes another stop there. Sadler pops this one up. Can't head it in, the one-headed snag by Pond. Brooklyn Pond does it again after smacking this one down. Able to recover on the rebound as well. Take a scene, our look at it. Green Canyon trying to control it here at midfield. Miller trying to work it back here for Green Canyon. Winder drops back. She'll get it back for missing a step. Ingrid gets it over to Jensen. Miller back over to Ingrid. Pond calls everybody off. Out of bounds on the throw and coming here for Bear River. 22 minutes and 45 seconds left to go here in the ball game. And a whistle goes against Green Canyon. Keep the possession with the Lady Bears with a free kick. Wilkinson. So over to Esquivel. Kerrigan drops it back again to Wilkinson. Green Canyon wins the battle. Leaves it over to Miller. And leaves it a little bit too long. Goal kick coming here for Brooklyn Pond. So we hit the 22 minute mark. I'd like to thank CNR Trailer Sale, being your replay sponsor all season long. Nicholson trying to push it up. Wilkinson will. Headed back here by Green Canyon, collected up by Miller, sent out to the far side. Ball working it back. Back to the outside again. Hastings trying to get the angle. Another stop here by Brooklyn Pond on Lady Bears defense. Sadler collects, leaves it over to Jensen. Jensen gives it over here to the far side, leaving it into the middle. Miller with a spot and going to miss wide right. She wants that one back. Probably Esquivel going to check back in here for the Lady Bears. We'll take another CNR look. Trying to squeeze that in between the post and Pawn, but again pushes it too far to the right. Still a 1-0 ball game. Now to cross over to Esquivel. Header goes out of bounds. That's the throw one coming. Here for Bear River. Escavel ready to throw in. Big throw in going over to Meads. Gracie able to control it and fight through the white jerseys. Pushed over to Butler. The pass over to Craigan is going to be a little bit too much. And go out of bounds. Kerrigan, excuse me. 
Hadley with speed, but not that fast. Another throw on it about midfield over Green Canyon. Bree starts picking up here at Bear River High School. Miller turns it for Green Canyon on the far side. Chase it down the sideline. Hastings runs into Meads again. And kicked right back out here by Nicholson. Throwing coming. Here for Green Canyon, far side. Again, we'd like to thank Dr. Todd Miller for our Miller Medical Report. And Woodward with the bruised knee. Mid-judge look, mid looking for some help on the call. And a whistle in the box. It's Brooklyn Pond going against a PK. Hastings will have the PK kick for Green Canyon. Hastings waiting on a whistle. Hastings with the kick, and a block by Pond. Esquivel gonna finish bringing it out here for the Lady Bears. Nicholson gonna clear this one out, far side, the defense can take a breath. Brooklyn Pond, excellent in this one. You got one passer, but like I said, she is done everything to keep everything else out. Hastings with the PK kick and a block by Brooklyn Pond. We have a throw in here on the near side. Green Canyon back into play. Kick her right back out. I'll reset and have another throw in. 17 minutes left to go here in this one, folks. Marley Esquivel with the header. Kick to the middle. Olivia clears it out. Over to Gracie. Gracie with the one touch. Push into the head. Melts to drop it right back to the keeper. And an off kick here from the keeper. Collected here by Crowther. And tries to send it the other way. Comes up a little length. And she's fine. Goal kick coming here for Green Canyon. Green Canyon going to swing it far side. Miller pushes over to Jensen, but Hastings is going to take it. Drop back here by Wilkinson to Pond. Back and forth, Miller with it. Tries to change directions. Sadler tries to push it through. Miller still with the possession for Green Canyon. Sideline, try to get fancy to go out of bounds. Throw one coming here for Green Canyon. And there's a whistle against Green Canyon. Break it coming here for Bear River. You see Crowther 
trying to cut across, gets clipped up. Yellow card given as well out of Green Canyon. Olivia Meads with a free kick. Sends it over to Marley Esquivel. Esquivel trying to nutmeg. It goes out of bounds, so last touch by Green Canyon. Marley with the throw in. A little collision, no call. Sadler collects here for Green Canyon, pushes it out here to Miller on the far side. Another defensive stop here for the Lady Bears, this time Marley Esquivel gets in front of that one, sends this one back. Green Canyon still trying to push the issue. Here's a steal by Bear River. Gracie Meads with a steal. Working back into the middle. Here's a shot and not hard enough. Crowther had a good look. Wanted a little bit more ump on that one. Still a 1-0 ball game. 12 or 13.40 left to go. And a little, ooh, and a hard hit here between both players, Janessa getting the I think a seen our replay look as Esquivel having a hard time. I'll stop the clock and give a yellow card. Give a yellow card here to the coaching staff. They stop the time with 13 minutes, 14 seconds, and we have our Miller Medical moment. Coach Wake kind of said that how was the worst off player, the one in getting the foul called on. We'll take another look at it here on the CNR replay again. Janessa Esquivel, your injured lady bear down. There's a collision right here. It's just a difference in height right there. Get you Sean Norton out there on the field. Getting the collision with number 24, Ingrid Haverstick. While they attend to Janessa, we will take a short break. Again, 13 minutes, 14 seconds still left to go in this one. 1-0 one -oh in favor of Green Canyon. Be right back. Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for family medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies, as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. Escavel even busted open. But everybody knows the Escavel girls are tough. Yeah, Coach Wade still looking for better exclamation or explanation. Here from the ref. Receiving a yellow card again. It's 
A yellow card has been given to Green Canyon, one to Bear River, one old ball game, 13 minutes, 14 seconds. We'll have to go. You won't see our estimated clock run for a little bit. Free kick coming here for Green Canyon. We're waiting on a whistle to get this one back going. And an offside call on Miller on the far side. Give it the free kick back over to Bear River. From the spot, Olivia Meads. Giving it short over to Wilkinson. Escavel trying to fight through, and a throw in coming here for the Lady Bears. My Escavel keeping the possession alive here for the Lady Bears. She'll have the throw in near side. The header goes out by Green Canyon. So deep in Green Canyon territory now, Lady Bears will have the throw in. Can Escavel do the honors? Gracie trying to find somebody there in the middle with that kick. I hope he can get to it quite in time. Another throw from the keeper to the far side. In the space, Green Canyon you're going to work it back up to midfield. Now crossing, but out of bounds. Giving it back over to the Lady Bears. 11 and a half to go. Hastings gathers, sends it over to Ma, who drops back. Wilkinson with the poke back. Getting these turf fields, that ball's just going to sit and roll and roll and roll until it goes out of bounds. Puts up a goal kick here for Green Canyon. Oh, Kamek with a move, trying to get freed up. Drops it back over to Gracie. Gracie with a good move. Gets some space, leaves it out. Here to Crowther on the near side, but poked out of bounds. Here by Green Canyons in number 21, Bella Gobble. Or Gobble. Could be Gobble. Kamek can't keep it in. Turns the possession over. Here now with under 10 minutes to go. Push down the far side. Line back to the middle. Again, the Gamedes and company. Clear it back out. Chloe Kamek collects there for the Lady Bears. Gives it over to Escavel. Tries to push over to Crowther. She's in a good spot. Saves it from going out. Turns the directions. Trying to get it back over to Gracie. Ball still alive, but off her foot a little bit too hard. Throwing coming for Green Canyon. So we almost hit the nine minute mark. We'll have to go. Gracie with it, she centers it back up. Here to Butler, the draw back over to Olivia. Olivia with a pass over to Escavel. Marley, 
with a nice pass over to Gracie Meads, but poked from behind by Green Canyon. It's been Green Canyon's defense now. Stepping up here late in the second half, Lady Bears. Another quick throw in. Hastings trying to make it through the defense, runs into a brick wall with Allen. Slows her down, no call. Sadler with the push down the sideline, far side. Miller to the middle, here's a shot and another stop here by Brooklyn Pond. She's put up a highlight reel just with herself. Again, look for those highlights on the Talk of the Town episodes. Uh, weekly, this is Ma trying to work it in. Here to Miller, turns and another stop. Brooklyn on fire in this game. The fight for possession. For the moment to the Lady Bears until it's gathered up. And Crowther almost got the steal. Jensen gonna bring it back here for Green Canyon. Olivia Meads again, slowing the defense down. Here's a shot from the middle off the field goal uprights. So goes out of bounds, goal kick coming here for the Lady Bears in Brooklyn Pond. Official clock under six and a half. Substitution on the far side here for Green Canyon. Lady Bears gonna work it out of the back on the far side. Olivia pushes it down the sideline. Green Canyon there, take it away. Austin Miller tries to make a move to the defense. Olivia Meads clears it out. Another attempt here by Miller to go in. It's tries to split the defense. Sets up a corner kick here for Green Canyon, far side. Gracie Mee is gonna clear this one out. The header keeps it on Bears half of the field until a drop back happens from Green Canyon. Green Canyon on the move from the far side, working away to the middle. Here's a shot, and that's gonna find the back of the net. That'll stop the clock with four minutes and 37 seconds. We'll check it out here on the replay. See who got that goal here for Green Canyon. Looks like Austin Miller again. Getting her second one of the game and seventh in the season. Kick goes out of bounds with Rowan coming here for Green Canyon. Escavel over to Crowther who gets ahead on it, tries to control it, but cleared out. Game by Green Canyon's defense. Now again to the far side. 
Lady Bear's going to take a shot there. Kicked out of bounds. We'll see it on the replay. That's when you know it's working, Olivia. Here's a kick and a tie. I don't know how she could squeeze it past the top bar and the crossbar of the goal post. Well, that's where it went out of bounds. Molly Esquivel sends it back the other way. Crowther corrals it, but speed from the other side. Drops it back over to the keeper and they'll clear it back out. Official time is 3.11. Mackenzie Mickelson coming in. Now with a quick throw in here to Gracie Meads, who stays with. Gracie trying to go to the middle. On the far side, the shot is up and blocked. Good shot by Hadley Kerrigan. Good setup. From across the field from Gracie. Sets up a corner kick here for the Lady Bears. Goes in now back out. Allen crosses over to Esquivel. Esquivel pops it a little bit too far. It'll be caught by Green Canyon's keeper. Yeah. Allen with the disruption. Throwing coming far side here for the Lady Bears as that pass off the mark. Shelby Wilkinson here to throw it in. And a late whistle on Allen that keeps the Green Canyons with the possession on a free kick. The long kick off the pole, the rebound off the pole as well, but that one's off the... Upright of the football goal post. Little goal kick coming in for Brooklyn Pond as time he ticks away. Now Green Canyon in the lead two to zero. Both goals coming from Austin Miller. This is Hastings trying to work it but taken away. Crowther able to keep it in. But Green Canyon will turn it right back around. For the work to the far side. Winter getting out of the way. Butler putting up a brick wall. And for Miller, there's a shot by Winter that goes up and over, and that's going to do it here in this one with your final score 2-0. to zero. Here for Green Canyon. But not a valiant effort, or er, valiant effort here for the Lady Bears, though. Defense showed up to play. They just squeezed two past them. And again, both goals from Green Canyon coming from Number two, leading score for Green Canyon. Austin Miller, senior. Seven goals now on the season. We'd like to thank these sponsors right here. We're going to see if we can catch Coach Waite out on the field for a post-game interview. See what she has to say. Give her some props to her players for the defensive effort against a hard Green Canyon team. 
We'll try to catch him at the midfield. Thanks to the sponsors in the meantime, until we catch up with her. Don't go anywhere. A little bit more for you here at Bear River High School. We'll be right back. <laughs> Market has an app and it's free. Just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market and it'll come right up. Downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons, weekly deals, and access to your Kent's Kickback account. As you can see, the app is easy to use and can help you save. Download it now and get exploring. We'll see you soon at Kent. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Dr. Todd Miller has expanded his team of medical professionals. Medical assistants, nurse practitioners, and estheticians at Miller Medical are ready to care for their clients with full services for family medical, pediatrics, beauty, and health. They also specialize in weight loss and hormone therapy. Miller Medical is now offering beauty and spa health treatments, as well as Botox. Most insurances are accepted, but a cash price discount is available. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. The Grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, The Grill has something for everyone. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Whether you are buying or selling, you need to know you have someone in your corner who can help you get through that process. The Realtors at Coldwell Banker are there to help you get into your home, whether it's a starter or your forever. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. We got Coach Wade down on the field there with Jessica. You can go ahead and take it away. All right, Coach. So it was a tough game today. Your girls are right there in it. How hard is it to get the loss tonight? 
honestly, it's not that hard. I'm extremely proud of them. Um, Green Canyon is, I think, the number one number one ranked team in our region. If maybe Mountain Crest is above them, but this is a game for Green Canyon that they probably thought was an easy win, and we didn't give that to them. Um, in years past, it's probably been the expectation that this is a mercy rule game, or again, an easy game that they score multiple goals. But today, we were able to bring it, and so. Obviously, it's hard, but I'm extremely proud of how they stepped up today. And it seemed like they were just phenomenal defense, phenomenal offense, some missed opportunities, but some great setup. Tell me a little bit about both those things. Yeah, so again, our defense has been very consistent this season. Um, that back line and our defensive mids are extremely strong. Even our build and the offense is good. It's just that last execution piece that we need. We have some really good goal scorers, but today, I don't know if it was tiredness by the time we got to the end of other end of the field or what, um, but I think that's kind of where we lost it. But I think all around, besides the execution with goal scoring, I think on both sides of the ball we looked really good. And tell me about that PK block by your by Pawn. Um, extremely well done. She was telling us after the game, she's like, she's trying to trick me and just couldn't get her. I guess I think. So our keepers have been battling for that starting position each game, um, and Brooklyn was able to step up in the Logan game. We gave her the start today, and she just kind of confirmed that, you know, she's in it right now and really fighting for that and has that desire, and that showed in that PK save because that's a high, high-pressure situation, and she executed it well. And then yellow card and injury. Tell us a little bit about how that went down and then how is Esquivel doing? So obviously we thought that, the girl on the other team was playing the player, not the ball. And so that's why it got really heated for us. Um, I think it was probably a generally even 50-50 ball, um, but she got rocked. Um, she was bleeding from the head, and I think she split it open, probably has a concussion, not doing the best right now. But, I mean, her spirits are high regardless. But, yeah, a tough, a tough injury for us. What do you think we can expect when you face Green Canyon again? Oh, man, I think Green Canyon is going to step it up even more, and I hope that we can match that. Um, I think the girls have proven to themselves today that we can hang with high-level teams. Um, I think we controlled a good portion of that game. It's, again, it's that execution, and I'm hoping when we meet them again that we can put some goals away. And then Ridgeline on Thursday, what's, gonna, what's that going to look like? Probably another high-level game. Ridgeline, I think, historically has been pretty good. Um, I think if we bring what we did today, that that could possibly be a win for us. Um, we'll see, though. Um, we've struggled, again, getting in at the, the first few minutes of the first half and against Skyview and Logan. We got scored on really easily, so we have to bring it 100% 80 minutes of the game. Thank you, Coach. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Coach, for the time. And it goes back to the keys of the game in this one play for 80 minutes and you could tell fatigue setting in later on in the game like they talked about there in the post-game interview and again I'd like to thank coach for taking the time for that and we'd like to thank these sponsors right here on your screen again we'll be right back at it on Thursday as they host Ridgeline Green Canyon goes on and takes Logan on Thursday. Again, we'd like to thank Cobble Banker, Cover Up, Greer's Do It Best Hardware, West Liberty Foods, seeing our trailer sales. I'd like to thank the Grill, Lincoln Financial, Tankwood Studios, Kent's Market, Academy Mortgage, Rudd, Pumer Homes, Miller Medical, KSLSports.com, Chanshire Sod Farms, Frank Mayskadu, New Core Steel, JC's County Country Diner, and Great Basin Industrial. Like I said, don't worry, we got more Lady Bear soccer for you on Thursday. Before we finish the week off, we'll wrap up the preseason of football when I host the Carbon Dinos. Until then, give us a follow on social media and subscribe to the YouTube channel to help you get notified when we go live throughout the fall season. Have a good one, and we'll see you Thursday night. You've been watching the most fall coverage of Bear River High School sports right here on Bear River Live.